Well, here we go. Our first adventure in this e-learning experience. Hopefully everything works. We'll try it out. And you know what? If, if things don't work on your end, send me an email and tell me about it. We'll try to figure it out. I'll be flexible with you. Don't stress over it. All right. Anyway, um, here's what we're going to be doing. This, if you can get to Schoology, which I'm sure you can one way or another, but um, I have, I, well, let me go back to Schoology. I have a new, we're, what we're working on now, this is still Illustrator. The next project has to do with shirt design, so there's a new folder for that. And lesson number one today has to do with um, warping type. And so if you go inside that folder, there is a handout here, and there's a link for turning in some work. And the handout looks like this. It has all of this information on it. But probably what you're wondering is, I don't have Illustrator. How am I going to access Illustrator? So on the handout, which is connected to an email that I sent you, and, um, and it's posted on Schoology as well, this first section right here about connecting tells you how what we're going to we're, we're, we're going to try to do is remote in um, and use what's called a virtual desktop so it's kind of almost as if you are at school and I'm going to demonstrate how to do that in this movie I'm going to get started on that right now this is the first part of it so what you'll have to whether you're doing this on your Chromebook or on another computer that your family has at home a desktop a laptop whatever you'll have to get a, a browser open preferably Google uh, preferably Chrome. Um, if it's not Chrome, it should still work, really. But anyway, whether you're on your Chromebook or on another brow or on another computer, get on the internet and get a browser tab open and get a new tab. And then what you're going to do up here in the address bar is go to horizon.plainfield.k12.in.us. All right, I could put the link for that in the email that I haven't sent yet, but I will be sending. All right, but there it is, horizon.plainfield.k12.in.us. So when you get to um, the, the Horizon, um, I'll get my thoughts together here, the, the Horizon site, you'll have two choices. On the left, it says Horizon Client. We're not going to try that right now. Uh, what we'll do is Horizon HTML access. So when you click that, you're probably going to see a thing like this. As it wants a username and a password. Well, that's just the same username and the same password that you use at school. So put in your login information that you use if you, as if you were in my room and click Login. And then when you see this, there's some choices here, and you're going to want PCSC Adobe. This is a desktop, or we're, we're kind of remoting in, and this is a set or a desktop that is set up with all of the Adobe stuff, which is what we use. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then this is the part that could take a little while, or this might be a little bit slow. Uh, it's working on signing you in to a remote desktop, which is going to look an awful lot like you're at school. Um, but it might take a minute or two. Now, once it connects to a desktop, it'll look kind of like this. And that it looks a little bit like being at school. But what you have to do now is not, don't start clicking things. Uh, you have to wait. There's a little script that's running here. So you have to kind of wait a little bit. And what should happen is you should get a login screen for the Adobe Creative Cloud applications. But you have to be a little bit patient. You have to kind of wait for it to get there. And eventually, if everything goes right, and here's the thing. If, if this just doesn't work on your end, send me an email and tell me, and, and I'll be flexible about it. Now, on mine, another, another Chrome window is popping up here. The, the window that I wanted is that sign-in window right here, and now all of a sudden another Chrome window is popping up here. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this. This It's come up here, and you could sign into your Chrome account. I'm just going to go ahead and close that. So what I want to do here is um, I'm going to continue with Google, right? I, this is like we've done this at school. I'm going to continue with Google, and it's working on signing me into the Creative Cloud stuff. And you'll have to do the things that we did at school. You'll have to put in your redpride.net. Mine looks a little bit different than yours. I have a hard time talking and typing at the same time. 
So I put in my email address. Uh oh, I didn't spell it right. And then it's going to go to single sign on. And then again, you got to be a little bit patient here, but you should get a window here that pops up and eventually says you're all set. Oh, we got to verify it to you. And now the, the Creative Cloud app is loading up here. This, this box that's right in front of it says Loading Creative Cloud. I'm just going to minimize that down out of the way. But here's the box that popped up said, ah, you're all set. Okay. So I'm just going to close that window for right now. And now we can get into the assignment of the day, which, by the way, is short. You don't have to do that much. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click the Start button in the bottom left-hand corner. And I'll look for Illustrator here. should be on the list. There it is. And now that we're, and again, you have to kind of remember, we have remotely connected to a virtual desktop here. And so um, you're kind of running a, a computer in your browser, uh, which is weird, but that's what we're doing. And the assignment, once we get to the, the connecting part is the hardest part, I think. The assignment, if we can get connected and get Illustrator to run, then the rest of it is really going to be pretty easy. Might be a little bit slow on your end. I don't know. I don't know how quickly it'll perform for you. All right. So anyway, once I get to here, I'm going to do create new, kind of like we always do. We're just going to make a new artboard for this thing today. And this is going to be about warped type. So I'm clicking create new. It's being a little slow, even for me. And uh, I'm just, you just need an artboard, and it doesn't really matter that much exactly what size it is. I almost always use print and letter and landscape, but you just need an artboard. That's all you need. Um, and I've got to kind of pull that window up a little bit so you can see create there. All right, so there, and now see, this looks like I'm at school. This is um, Illustrator. I'm running Illustrator. We're remoting in and we're running Illustrator. All right, so this, this, little tour window. I'm just going to close that. So here's what we're going to do today. All right, it starts with just creating some type. You take the type tool, you click once. I'm just going to use some colleges for my for my example, but you could do this with any uh, anything that you want to use. So I just I took the type tool, I clicked once, I typed the word Purdue. I'm going to go get the black arrow and I'm going to stretch that out and make it bigger. All right. And you can do some things. I'm going to pull up uh, I'm going to pull up a, a set of swatches because I want that metal gold color right there. And I'm going to stroke it with some black. But you do what you want with color. It doesn't matter a whole lot. I'm going to switch up the font here. Um, and, you know, if you have trouble, like you could, I, I, it, it's kind of hard to see the fonts here. You could do, uh, you could go to Window and Type. I have to kind of scroll this. Uh, go to Window, Type, and Character. And that's a panel. If you can't see the fonts very well, you can click the window menu, click type, and click character. And then here's a panel that has the fonts on them. And I can see that a little bit better. All right, I'm going to use this Rockwell Extra Bold right here. I just think it's a good font for what I'm doing today. So use whatever you want. Doesn't matter. Okay. All right, so this is, you know, this is text. Yay. I've got text. Now, the only other thing, and I want, I'd like for you to try three examples of this, but the only other thing is I'm going to go to the Effect menu, and I'm going to go to Warp, and then I'm going to pick something off of this list. Arc, Bulge, uh, what, try whatever you want to try. Take a look. I'll do Bulge. Uh, there's a preview box on here, so you want to click the preview box, and I don't think I want it to bulge quite that much, so I'm going to dial down the amount of bend there, and I could also play with things like horizontal and vertical distortion. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK because I'm happy, right? When you're happy and you know it, click OK. And that's the kind of thing we're going to do today right there. I have this text. And you've seen stuff like this on shirts before, probably. So this text has been warped or altered, right? So I'm going to make another example real quick. I'll, I'll take the type tool. I'll click once, I-N-D-I-A-N-A. -A. I'm going to do Indiana. I'll use my black arrow to make that text a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on really well. Uh, I might make, I might fill that with kind of a creamish color. That's not a great color, but it'll work for right now. And I might stroke it up some, and maybe I'll just change the stroke to like a red, a deep red color. 
All right, so I'm shooting for that kind of cream and crimson kind of thing. The crimson is not great in this example, but that's okay. All right, so I made some text, right? And uh, I've got it colored the way I want, so I'm just going to go to effect. I'm going to go to warp. And, yeah, gosh, what do you want to do this time? You know, you just decide. Just get in there and explore a little bit. I'm going to do arch. You want to make sure that preview is turned on and play with things like bend and distortion and things like that. And you see what I'm getting with that Indiana text. It's arched. And you've seen that on shirts. I know you have. All right. So I'm going to click OK right there. This is all about tricks that you can do with type on, you know, eventually uh, we're going to get into shirt design here. Um, all right. One more example real quick. I'll do I-N-D-I-A-N-A. -N -A. I'm going to do Indiana State. We'll give the sycamores a little love here. Make that bigger. Uh, maybe fill that with some white, which is not good at this moment, except I'm going to stroke it up, change the stroke to blue because Indiana State is blue and white. All right, there we go. And again, what you're going to do is go to Effect and go to Warp and just pick something. I'll do Flag this time and maybe play with the amount of bend. Move that out of the way so you can see it a little bit. So you see what happens with Flag. You could also play with things like Horizontal Distortion. I'm going to do that the other way. So it looks like it's kind of coming from the distance. The, back there on the I of Indiana, it looks smaller. And on the E of State, it looks bigger. So it kind of looks like it's coming out of the distance and coming at you a little bit. I'll click OK there. So this is it. That's the end of it. If, you, if we can get connected, that's the whole key. So when you're done, what I would recommend you do here is you go File and you go Save As. And um, on the Save As dialog box, I would click on this PC over on the left. And if you'll scroll down, you'll find your network drive. And I would really recommend you save stuff on your network drive this time uh, because of this remote end situation. All right, so I'm going to double click there and I'll just call this type one. Sounds good. Save that. And then the other thing you're going to need to do here, um, I could close Illustrator. Um, I've got to let it save first. Um, let's see if it's all saved now. Okay, there we go. Now this is the kind of the weird part a little bit. To get to Schoology to be able to turn that in and find that file, um, you're probably going to have to fire up like Google Chrome here. It's, it's going to be a browser inside a browser. Which is weird, I know, but that's what it is. Um, and you may have to sign in. You may have to like sign in to your, your Google Chrome account to be able to get to Schoology in, in this. I'm just going through all the, you know, all the normal by um, I'm just going through all the normal sign in. It, 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 I'm signing in to, with my email address and my single sign on, and I got to verify that it's me, and, and so much signing on. And link data, yeah. And yes, I'm in. So, the, and, and this is what's kind of weird here. This becomes, this is a browser inside a browser, right? It's just, it's because we're remoting in and, and using Illustrator that we have to do this. All right. So then I can just go to Schoology here. And I would be able to turn that file in, right? Once I get to Schoology, if Schoology loads up okay. There we go. I think it's going to make it. I think, I hope it does better than that for you. Let me refresh that. That's looking better. And then you could work your way to, you know, computer graphics and design with Illustrator. And we're doing shirt design. And here's the, okay, there it is. And there's the lesson. And you could turn it in right there. All right. It's a lot of stuff to, you know, to sort through and to figure out. Um, but again, like I said, give it a shot. And if something just doesn't work, or if you just can't get connected or something's not making sense or something doesn't work, just send me an email. Just get, get on your Chromebook and send me an email. Say, this didn't work for me today. I couldn't get connected or whatever the problem was. Tell me what the problem was and I'll try to help out with it. Um, so that's what we're going to shoot for today. Yay. Give it a shot.